What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today we have the Acura in the shop. We are going to do some uh, brakes all the way around. We're going to do some brake rotors and some sway bar lengths. So uh, while I was pulling the vehicle in, I thought, hey, perfect time for a tool review. So we're going to review something from uh, Carlisle. Uh, it's a product that's pretty expensive for what it is. Um, I'm uh, would I buy another one? Yes. Uh, would I like just weigh back and forth on whether or not it was worth it? Yes. Uh, but I would definitely recommend it to you and that's why I'm doing a tool review on it today. So uh, let's get down to it. I'll show you exactly how it works. I had mentioned it in a previous video, uh, but I figured this was a great time to show you it in action and just how easy it is to use. All right, guys, so this is made by BDS. This is a half inch extension with a handle on it that rides on ball bearings. So as you can imagine, there are so many applications for this thing. Um, I will put the Carlisle part number here at the bottom of the video. So uh, the only place that I can find this available is uh, at Napa. Carlisle sells them for about 50 bucks. I think they're $47 and some change. Um, I'll put the current price on the video. I'll link it in the description below. Um, as you can imagine, there's so many different applications for this. Half inch drive, impact rated, and you can hold on to it and it can spin in your hand. Very, very cool option to have. Uh, just all around great tool to have in your shop. Uh, like I said, I would definitely buy one. Um, and yeah, I would hesitate on the price a little bit, but after you have one, uh, it's it's definitely worth its weight in gold, no pun intended. All right, so now as you can see, um, I have my extension with my socket here. Um, these definitely have, or these lug nuts are uh, keyed lug nuts, so I have to use a key and a socket. Uh, this is a great application because uh, this is a place where you want to be able to hold your extension and everything straight and then come up with the with the breaker bar and break your lug nut loose um, especially when uh, you know you get that lug nut broken loose and then you can take off your you can take off your uh, your breaker bar and you can spin it in your hand so you can hold it one way you can spin it piece of cake now uh, I totally do not recommend using an impact gun on any lug nuts but if you're running anything down with an impact um, and you know you wanted to be able to hold on to the extension it's great for that like I said I highly uh, highly recommend that you do not use it for putting lug nuts on but taking lug nuts off it's awesome to be able to have that ability to hold it in your hand now I'm not going to use it the impact on my on my lug nuts here on the Acura because they are specialty lug nuts and the socket wall is very thin so I don't want to break my tool so uh, it's just one of those things but as you can imagine holding holding on to your extension and using the impact is an awesome tool to have so uh, you know you think about all the uses in your shop or your applications that you could use this um, they're, they're usually limitless um, it, you know, regardless of what you're doing, this is a pretty slick tool to have. Um, it, it, it's, uh, you know, let's go ahead and take it apart. I want to see exactly how it works. So we're going to take the clip off of it. Let's get it over on the bench. Let's take this thing apart and see what's inside. Okay, so uh, basically that E-clip let us uh, let us take the tool apart. Now we have our aluminum knurled handle here with our uh, ball bearings on both sides. Um, it looks like it just gives you the ability to uh, replace these ball bearings if they go bad. Um, you can. It looks like they're just pressed in the end of this aluminum here. You probably pull them out and replace them as needed. As long as you had the same interior diameter and the out, uh, outer diameter, you could replace these piece of cake. Um, you could probably even put more robust uh, ball bearings on them if you wanted to. But very cool. Uh, very nice rebuildable if you get it packed with grease. It's something that you can uh, you can go through and clean out. So let's go ahead and put our E-clip back on here and uh, we'll wrap this video up. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the little video here on uh, this tool. Um, I wouldn't even know what to call this uh, extension with a handle um, or rotating, uh, I don't know, rotating handle half inch impact extension. I don't know exactly what you would call this thing, but it is nonetheless awesome. Um, it's definitely something, if you're a mechanic or maybe even just a do-it-yourselfer, um, definitely if you're a pro, this is a tool that I would definitely have in my, in my, uh, in my toolbox for sure. So, um, yeah, yes, it's expensive. Yes, it will cost you a little bit of money. Uh, it is, they do make a 3 8 variant, so you can get this in 3 8 so I forgot to mention that. Um, comes in half inch or 3 8 I'm not sure if there is a 3 quarter option. If I can find one on the internet, it will be linked below in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am glad to see you here around the channel. If you're not subscribed already, please consider that subscription as we're always doing something cool. And I'm trying to show you new tools and things um, that I come upon that are just epic. And, you know, as always, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, as always, we'll see you in the next video.